live from Adelaide. It's Adelaide United and Western Sydney. I'm on Fox Sports. Subtle little one over to Cavallo, who is looking for Juric at the far stick into the breeze. Halloran. Kamau back to Harry one day into moving possession on. Out to Halloran again. Come on with Natter. Gets around. A big chance for Tommy Juric. He's back in the starting lineup and back scoring for Adelaide United. Beautiful work down that right side from Ben Halloran. Isolated Natter and Tommy did the rest. Well, the overhead cross initially from Cavallo worked out beautifully because Juric rounded it up. Sent the ball back to Ben Halloran, who teed up Natter beautifully, really beautifully. And it's just a delightful touch on the delivery. Superb work from Ben Halloran. And then from three yards, Tommy's too tough. It's working at the moment because the Reds are having a good spell here. And Wanderers are trying to get out and can't quite. And Louis DeRigo tried to boot that to the entertainment centre and missed everything. On it goes for Wanderers. And Dorigo's going to go into the book for his wild challenge. Now, fair call, too, from the ref. Duke, off and running. Straight through the first challenge, which clipped him on the way through. And Dorigo, that's his second yellow. And that changes the complexion totally of this one. Louis Dorigo. One foul where he missed everything. A slight touch on Mitchell Duke in full flight, and his night is done. Goodwin does well. Al Hassan. He's in stride pretty quickly, Al Hassan Toure. Maintaining possession on that occasion. Distrain. His touch is heavy, gets away with it, and continues the run. Morg. He misses it all together, Marcus Strain. The best of an opportunity he'll have to break his A League duck. And he fluffs his lines. Well, Stephen Walt actually hit the wrong pass here. It should have gone to Ben Halloran. Mark, what the hell happened there? <laughs> it came out for a pie. <laughs> Just keep knocking the ball back up. It is going to be a long half. They will start getting tired. And tired psychologically as much as tired physically. So they want to make sure that they can continue to threaten the Wanderers because they've looked really good. Lovely from Bernie Beanie down this left side. Can he come up with products? Ends in a shot. Cox! They found it. Wanderers out of nowhere have found it. And this indirectly has come from that long ball forward from Adelaide which didn't amount to anything. It's still the good work from Bernie Beanie still required a pretty significant deflection. Ryan Strain who's been excellent but he's left on his derriere. Wonderful weekend of football we've got on Fox Sports. We've got the W League Grand Final tomorrow as Mork is highest up. And that now was all over him. Was he last man? Does that stop a goal scoring opportunity? Yes, in the eyes of referee Daniel Elder. We're now 10 on 10. Well, it's great control from Mork. Gets on the wrong side and Nada puts himself in the dock by reaching around Stefan Mork. There was support coming. The referee, what does he think about here? Closeness to goal, support, I think it's a significant enough yet back. He was outpointed there, Mark Natter. Timothy is up there. Trouble now for Adelaide. It's three on one with the ball in ahead. Wilmering, he's got Abini and Yaboa. Bernie Abini! Oh, they butchered that, Wanderers. It was like, not in slow motion, but they weren't at full capacity going forward and they were weighing up the options. The options were there. They were plentiful for Wilmering. And then this happened halves. Well, that's awful. Bernie looks to the bench. Not going to be any solace there. And that's the final action. Bernie belts the ball into the air. In frustration. So it's one apiece in the city of churches. 